Good day YouTubers. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the OLE DB connection and data reader and data adapter um, to an Excel spreadsheet and we are going to import that data into a data grid view that you can see we have on the screen here and uh, this is the Excel spreadsheet we're going to be importing from. It's just uh, got two columns DVD and category and I just listed a couple of movies in there as a, to use as an example. Uh, now the first thing we're going to do is double click on the import button and go up to the using and make sure we add the library to use the OLEDB. This is the library we need to use to uh, in order to connect to the Excel spreadsheet. Now I've made the very first thing we need to do is make the connection object and um, and the connection string is going I have a little cheat sheet just so you don't have to watch me write it out. Okay, here is our connection string. Um, and uh, you can see that uh, as a provider we have the OLEDB 12.0. Um, I'm not sure if that's the latest version, but uh, but uh, you can see that our data source is, uh, this is the path where the Excel spreadsheet to the Excel spreadsheet is. So in my case, it's uh, the local folder on C drive in Barry Cam import sheet dvd.xlsx. And you will notice this is a 2007 Excel spreadsheet. And we specify the version in our extended properties, the Excel 8.0. Um, now, I can't remember what the HDR stands for, but uh, this one here. At, uh, sorry if I can get to it, this uh, import mix types equals text. What it does is that um, Excel will, when it reads the Excel spreadsheet, it'll look at the first three cells in a column and determine what data type it is. So if your first three numbers or four numbers or however many numbers you specify in the type guessing row, um, if you specify five then it looks at the first five numbers five cells and determines that if they're all numbers then it must be a, a numeric or integer data type or if it's all dates then it must be a date data type but in our case we're setting all the mixed types so if it detects a date and a string and an integer then it just views it as text and we make it guess at zero rows so automatically it's going to view everything as text in Excel unless you specify the column heading in Excel as a specific data type so um, I recommend leaving the Excel spreadsheet, to everything set to text, and then that way you won't run into any problems, because uh, when it reads from a date, if it is a date, then um, it'll use its numeric value, and you have to then convert it into dates, and it can turn into a mess. But here is our connection string. Now our next step is to create a OLEDB command object that which uses our connection object. Now, now pay very close attention to how this is used. Now we have to select and you have to specify the column names. In our case it's DVD and category. DVD. And then from And then, in this case, we haven't renamed our sheet at all, so it's going to be from sheet one. And the way to write that will be by typing sheet one and then a dollar sign. Now we have our SQL command set up. Um, now we're going to need to load this all into a data set. So I'm going to create a data set. 
data sets, DVDs. And then uh, we need an uh, OLD DB data adapter because uh, we're going to fill the data set. And we're going to specify the the OLE the command object in the adapter. That's uh, the adapter has a few different parameters that it takes, and that's one of them. As you can see there listed, it says uh, haven't. This is for when you type the um, the query within the adapter when you're creating the object. So in our case, we're just using the command. And then, now, the adapter object has some cool methods in it, and uh, the one is full, and we're going to fill the data set, DVDs. Okay, so all the data set is, it's kind of like, it's just a virtual table that gets stored in memory to store the data that we retrieve from Excel. So, and uh, the adapter, you notice there's no, um, we haven't had to open the connection object or close it because the adapter takes care of that. It'll, if the connection is not open, it automatically opens the connection and then closes it. And in the other scenario, if, you has an, if it has an open connection, then it will leave it open so that you can continue to um, perform other tasks that you might be trying to, to do depending on, on what you're trying to achieve. But now we have our data grid view which uh, we are going to bind to the data set dvd.tables and in our case it's the very first we only have one table in the data set so we're just going to use a zero index you can name it if you want to but uh, for this example I want to keep it as simple as possible so now effectively I think that is all we need so let's try run this and Another thing you may need to know is that if you have make any changes to this Excel spreadsheet and it's open and you press save, um, make sure you close it before you run the import because sometimes it doesn't update the file if it tries to open it while you still have it open. So just always keep your spreadsheet closed before you run the import. Unless you haven't made any changes to it, then you should be alright, but it's just safer. So let's go ahead and run this. And we're going to hit the import button. And we have an exception. As you could see, we had an error earlier, and uh, just remove the space next to the dollar side where the sheet is placed, and then you can run it. And then you'll notice that we hit the import button, and it has uh, retrieved data from the Excel spreadsheet. And uh, well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.